Welcome back to Danganronpa V3. We are in the middle of the trial. Let's get to it. The key to that fact lies in Kakichi Gonta and Mew's statements. According to what we know, that figure Kakichi saw must be... That's it! Kokichi, you're talking about Mew, right? What? Mew? Yeah, you can take her off the list. She actually has an alibi. Booyah! Suck it, nerds! Wait a sec, since when does she have an alibi? If you compare everyone's statements, there's no other possibility. Oh yeah, I did see something odd while Karimi was lecturing me. Something odd? I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtroom courtyard in her underwear. It was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. A girl walking around half-naked? Who else could it be but the horny exhibitionist Mew? We can't just jump to conclusions like that. He just saw a shadow, right? That could have been anyone walking around in women's underwear, even me! That'd be a whole different issue. No, it's Mew, without a doubt. Mew and Gonta's statements prove it. Oh, Gonta see Mew, but Gonta's face get red hot, so Gonta no could bring her. Your face got hot? You mean you were hot on a trail, right? No, um, she used her, uh, what she call it, a secret woman weapon, and then... Hmm? Uh, oh, uh, well, I, uh, I had to use my secret woman weapon, and let's just leave it at that. I see, I see. It sounds like Gonta got an eyeful, hmm? What? Why the heck were you in your underwear, Mew? Oh, well, cause, you know, I'm pretty stacked, so... I figured I'd take my clothes off so Gonta would be too flustered to touch me. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it, you cockroaches! Anyway, I think the blood rushed to both of Gonta's heads cause he got super embarrassed. Mew was in her underwear, and Gonta got weird feeling, so Gonta ran away. Well, when you got the body of a goddess, it's only natural to want to flaunt it. I show my panties to the boys all the time. And I mean all the time. So you're welcome, Gonta. Think of me during your next tug session. Most of that was unintelligible nonsense, but it would seem that Mew has an actual alibi. Yep, it took a while, but at least we got everyone's alibis cleared up. We should remember all of this in case we need to recall these events again. Alibis for yesterday has been recorded in the monopad. That leaves Kaito and Maki as the only ones with no alibis. Then one of them must be the culprit. But which one, I wonder? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch the culprit by its... Hold up! Don't decide just yet! Two prime suspects. Kaito and Maki. But something inside me doesn't want to accuse Kaito. I want to believe Kaito. Until he's proven guilty, I'll trust him. Uh, maybe we should determine the sequence of events. The culprit w... No, we should do something more fun. And I have the perfect idea. What? We narrowed it down to two people, and one of those two is the culprit, right? Since we don't have to randomly accuse each other, finding the truth just got much easier. So let's find the truth with a more effective method. And what is this effective method? If one of them is the culprit, then the innocent one should know who the guilty one is. Yeah? Because if you know you're not the culprit, then you can just accuse the other person. Yes, that is true. Which means there is one person among us who definitely knows who the culprit is. To that someone who knows, do your best to convince us. Work harder. 
Work harder? Have the two argue for their innocence. That's how we'll decide our culprit. Even if we did that, wouldn't they just pass the blame back and forth? And... Huh? You guys talk about cooperation and teamwork, but you're all afraid. You're too scared to point your fingers at others, so you hide behind the word trust. How do you expect to find the culprit when you're all worried about each other's feelings? If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of deceit! If we want to find the liar, I suggest that the two suspects argue against each other. No more pointless deductions. All we need is for them to fight for their lives. So let's host an argument that's totally not boring, but super fun! We'll catch the culprit in their lies when we find a contradiction. We'll scare the culprit until they screw up! That's how a true class trial works. Right, Monokuma? <laughs> a development like that would liven things up a bit. Yep. I totes agree. You're agreeing with Monokuma? Just whose side are you on? I'm on your side. I don't want to die either, you know. That's why we need to take this seriously. A hot debate to smoke out the liar. And how do you expect us to start this? If you guys need some help getting started, I can give out the first topic. Our first topic is this! Ta-da! The cups pad. Not just any cups pad, but the one given to our latest victim, Ryoma. When we started investigating, I went straight to his room to borrow it. So it wasn't the culprit who took the video from his room. It was you. And the reason why I brought it out just for this occasion is... Because one of these two had Ryoma's Moda video. Dun dun dun! One of these two had it? And for us to figure that out, we need to know who this motive video belongs to. Take a guess, everyone! Whose motive video did Ryoma have? The motive video that Ryoma had was it Kaito's or Maki's? I should know the answer. That's it! It was Maki's motive video, right? Wow, how did you ever guess? Ooh, I know, I know! It's because the motive video that you have belongs to Kaito. Process of elimination wins again. The obvious answer was Maki, right? Is that true, Shuichi? Yes, you're right. And what about that? Just because Ryoma had my motive video, that doesn't make me the culprit. <laughs> Finally, you said something! This is how a debate should be. I only brought up the motive video to make you talk. Excuse me? Okay, now that we got the party rolling, let's get you and Kaito ready to argue. Remember, if you're not the culprit, then that means the other one is. Got that? Let's start this extreme death debate. Tear up the other's lies. Rip each other apart. Wait just a minute. What are you trying to... Quit screwing around! We don't need to debate who's a culprit! I'm not the culprit! That's for sure. Which means... Kaito, wait. Maybe Kokichi is wrong. Maybe he... But Maki isn't a culprit either! Huh? What? Huh? Really? You're saying neither of you are the culprit? Then what would be the point of this whole debate? Who cares about that? All I know is that neither me or Maki are the culprit. It's just a hunch I've got. Uh, a hunch? Are you being serious? You do know all our lives are on the line here, right? And you're betting our lives on just a hunch? Huh, you don't get it. This isn't just any hunch. 
This is an official hunch from the Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. What? How illogical. This is even more difficult to comprehend than Kokichi's antics. You're totally not serious. You can't be that stupid, right? No, he might actually be that stupid. Damn idiot! A two-a-damned idiot! Hey, don't call me an idiot! Anyway, me and Maki aren't the culprit. There's no doubt about it. I believe in Maki. You what? You believe in her? But based on what? Huh? I don't gotta base it on anything. No matter where the clues point. In the end, the only thing that matters is what I believe, right? Whether I believe or not. Whether I want to believe or not. That's the only thing that matters. So, you do not have any evidence. Only baseless conjecture. But, I totally get where he's coming from. Cause I want to believe in Himiko too! Want to believe, huh? Yeah, I think I understand that. Wanting to believe in someone is a beautiful act, yes. However, it is a sentiment that has no place in a class trial. He's an idiot after all. It's okay to be idiot. Guys, I said don't call me an idiot! It really hurts my feelings. <laughs> it's true. That's not what a class trial is about. You're supposed to think logically. You can't let your feelings into it. It's absurdity. Total absurdity. But then again, that absurdity saved me before, right? Why? Why do you trust me, Kaito? There's a chance that I'm the cop. I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? What? Isn't that why you believed in Kaede? I mean, sure. I might get betrayed in the end, but... If I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. If I can't trust my... If I can trust my logic, maybe I should trust Kaito's feelings, too. Yeah. It'll work out in the end, so... I'll believe in Maki as well. What? That's our Kaido, right? Making us think with our hearts. You too? How could the ultimate detective believe in someone without proof? But there's no proof linking Maki or Kaido to this crime either. I believe in innocent until proven guilty. For now, they are innocent. Right on, Shuichi. I knew I picked a good sidekick. Uh, and by the way, I might be the ultimate detective, but I'm in training. I told you that, didn't I? I'm just an apprentice, not a real detective. How do you plan to get closer to the truth without suspecting either of them? Unless you have evidence to the contrary, these two will remain suspect. So I just have to turn it around, right? Huh? It's not like I owe that idiot a favor or anything just because he defended me. But that hopeless idiot may have encouraged me a bit. Seriously! Enough's enough! Stop calling me an idiot! What are you trying to say, Maki? I didn't want to say anything, but I can't stay silent forever. So I'll tell you. Oh? Tell us what? I met up with Ryoma during nighttime yesterday. What? With Ryoma? At nighttime? So Ryoma was still alive at nighttime? I thought the crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night. But that's wrong, because I met up with Ryoma during nighttime. If that's true, then we have no basis for suspecting only Kaito and Maki. That's right. Everyone suspected them, because they no have alibis for those times. That means me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. Quit fucking around! You think I'm dumb enough to swallow that line of crap? Yes, this seems too convenient. But why did Maki wait until now to mention that? <laughs> It's totally obvious! Maki's so desperate that she has to lie! Was that... a lie? Did Maki lie to us? It's true. We don't have all the facts. 
But why would Maki say that now of all times? If I trust her innocence, I should believe her statement. But should I? Intermission. It seems voting has finished. Now then, let's see the result. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? The hell you say? Wait a second. What result? Voting time hasn't happened yet. Aww. Yes, it has. Don't you remember Monosuke? No, it hasn't. You're the one who doesn't remember Monotaro. Uh oh. Ah oh, man, you're right. Silly me. I'm so forgetful. <laughs> Wow, I didn't expect you all to get so worked up over such a small lie. You kids are pretty gullible, huh? Now then. Well, anyway, let's just skip this trial and jump ahead to chapter three. The hell you say? Wait a sec, we don't know the culprit yet. Aww. Yeah, who killed Rantaro? Oh, oh, that was chapter one's case. How can you be so forgetful? Another shocking truth revealed. Back to square one. Square one? If square one, they wouldn't have got eaten by the competition. After that terrible movie, they had no other choice. Wow, what does that mean? It means he doesn't want to get involved in another pointless argument, like this one. We shouldn't listen to anything Maki says. She's just gonna throw out more lies. But if we don't ask her for more details, how will we know for sure? I told you already, we don't need to. I hate liars. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You're one to talk. Maki, just ignore that lying little degenerate. We'll listen to what you have to say. It must have been... A little after midnight last night, he visited me at my research lab. He wanted me to show him the motive video that I received. Motive video? If Ryoma came to ask about that, does that mean you had his motive video? As I recall, Ryoma had Maki's motive video, correct? Does this mean you and Ryoma received one another's motive video? Maybe. I actually didn't check the one I got, so I wouldn't know. Maki admitted earlier that she hadn't checked her cub's pet. Then why did Ryoma think that Maki had his motive video? If he went around asking at random, he might have asked some people besides Maki. He never asked me. He probably never asked you guys either, right? Then, who was it that told Ryoma about his cub's pet? Who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? It would have to be someone who knew who had each pad. It's you! That would be Kokichi. Cubs pads! Gotta catch them all! I even got the pads belonging to the people who aren't here! <laughs> now everyone can watch their motive video! So, you saw the motive videos. Did you tell Ryoma that Maki had his? When males get this quiet, they're either caught in a lie or thinking dirty thoughts. What happened then, Maki? After Ryoma asked you for his motive video. I told Ryoma just to take it from my room. I keep my room unlocked. Well, Maki, that's super careless. Aren't you scared someone might kill you in your sleep? And then what happened? I don't know what happened after that. I'm not even sure if he saw his motive video. When he asked me, he said that he would show me my motive video in return. But I wasn't interested, so I declined. And that's pretty much it. So you don't even know if Ryoma saw his motive video? What a bunch of crap. 
If Maki met with Ryoma at nighttime, that proves he was still alive then. Which means, even though we don't have alibis from 8 to 10, Maki and me aren't suspects. If that story is true. It's true. Then why did you wait until now to bring that up? I didn't say anything until now because I wasn't in the mood to be suspected. Suspected? What for? Kirumi said it earlier. It seems that Ryoma and I had each other's motive videos. That's pretty fishy, right? So I didn't want to mention it to avoid suspicion. You didn't say anything because you weren't in the mood? It is quite selfish to keep this information hidden because you were not in the mood. Well, whatever. Either way, let's just believe Maki. Yes, yes! Those who believe shall be saved! No, we need to wait. There is still more to confirm. Well then, why don't we ask Kokichi? Huh? What now? You never answered my question. Were you the one who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? Is that really important? Yes, it is important. Because if Kokichi told Ryoma, it becomes more likely that Ryoma visited Maki during nighttime. I see. Kokichi's response may help corroborate Maki's testimony. Now you understand why I don't want your charade. I want the truth. Well, Kokichi, did you tell Ryoma? You said it earlier. I don't want to die, right? If you really don't want to die, then you better tell us the truth. Here comes the dramatic turnabout. Now I'm the one pressured by Maki. Okay, it's true. I told Ryoma. Just as I thought. But that's not a bad thing, right? He wanted to know, so I told him. Have you seen everyone's motive video? No, not yet. I was gonna wait until we hosted, like, a movie screening party. I just checked who had whose, so I could give them back to everyone after. Hmm, I see. Anyway, if Kokichi told Ryoma that, then he must have gone to see Maki. That means Maki's telling the truth. Ryoma was alive during nighttime. No, we cannot be too sure about that yet. Even if Ryoma and Maki did meet, it does not mean it was during nighttime yesterday. So you still suspect me? I am saying it could still be a possibility. If there is still a small chance of you being the culprit, then I cannot trust you entirely. Because everyone's lives are at stake. Then which is it? A lie or not lie? She's not lying. Can't you tell just by looking at her? If it was that easy, we'd be done by now. No, this is a world of lies and betrayal. Himiko, it breaks my heart to hear you say depressing things. I find Maki's testimony suspicious. It's far too convenient for her. This is difficult to determine. Maki is lying. Like I said before, a liar like me knows their own kind. I'm not lying. I did meet up with Ryoma during nighttime. I'm telling the truth. Is it a lie? Well, the truth. This is the turning point. This will change the fate of this case. And I... I said I would believe in Kaito. And that means believing in Maki. And that means... I have to do it. I need us all on the same page. I have to change where this argument is going. Just like Kaede did. I met with Ryoma the previous night. Oops, didn't mean to do that. What a load of crap! Maki only see Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? Surely they would have come forward already. If no one can prove that this meeting took place, then there is no reason to believe your testimony, I'm afraid. As expected, Maki is lying to us. If you can't prove your claim, then it's the same as an outright lie! I can't say that the two of them met now. That's too obvious to lie. So if I can convince him that Maki met up with someone... Met with Ryoma the previous night. What a crap! Maki only sees Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see us two together? 
Sure, I can forward already. If no one can. Great. I'll reveal the truth. I might not be able to prove they met, but I can prove Maki wasn't alone. Oh? Please explain. Well, Kaito and I train together every night. And yesterday, because of the insect meet and greet, we started late. Huh? Ah, Kaito, don't worry. You don't have to say anything. Anyway, we were doing some frog squats on the school stairs when we heard two people talking. People talking? We knew one of them was Maki, but we couldn't pick out the other one. But now that I think about it, it must have been Ryoma. What? Uh, yeah, maybe. That was probably around midnight. Wait a minute! If you heard their voices, then that means... So Ryoma and Maki did meet up. No, no, hold up! Why'd you sit on that info for so long? Because until just now, I didn't think it was relevant. I had no reason to bring it up. Now, now. We don't know if Maki was really talking to Ryoma, right? That is true. If I knew for certain, I would have said so sooner. But considering the circumstances, I can't imagine it being anyone but Ryoma. None of us were talking to Maki last night, correct? So it must have been him. And nobody say you suddenly remember talking to Maki. It's way too late for that. And you two did not confirm who Maki was talking to at the time? If I overheard a conversation in the middle of the night, I surely would have checked. We are still part of a killing game, after all. Whoa, whoa, chill out. Why the scary face? That was my bad, but it's not really manly to eavesdrop, you know? I wouldn't do something so uncool. Anyway, I know that we heard those voices. Maki is not lying. Then Gonto will believe, friends. You're gonna believe him? Just like that? But Shuichi has no reason to lie. Yes. If his lie leads us to the wrong culprit, he will join us in eternal sleep. Unless he wishes for death, we should be able to believe him. That's right. You can believe me. Yeah, you're right. I'll believe him too. Belief shall set you free! I'd be so surprised if Shuichi was a liar. Especially after we believed him for so long. We wouldn't be able to trust anyone anymore. Well, it's not like he's lying anyway. Alright, that proves it then. Ryoma was still alive during nighttime. In other words, me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. But... I guess that means everyone's alibis no longer matter, yes? So, everyone is culprit again? So, we're right back where we started. What a pain. However, it should be clear now that the crime occurred after nighttime began. But then when was Ryoma's body placed inside the piranha tank? Well, the gym is locked at nighttime, so it must have been the next morning, but... That's not possible. Himiko and I were at the gym, remember? So did we fuck up by thinking the body got stuffed into the piranha tank? I don't think so. We have evidence to prove that's what happened. Then when did the culprit throw the body into the piranha tank? When did Ryoma's body get placed in the piranha tank? Maki was with Ryoma around midnight, so it couldn't have been before nighttime. And it couldn't have been in the morning after. That leaves... The only time they could have done it was during nighttime, huh? Did you forget the gym's not open at nighttime, Dick Cheese? Dick Cheese? But that's the only possibility, because by morning we were already at the gym. It may be possible they slipped by without you noticing. No one can slip by me. I'm known far and wide as the snoozing sorceress. What a terrible title for a guard. Are you positive that you did not see it? You cannot enter the gym at nighttime. Kimiko would have seen it. She might strike out, but she always keeps her eye on the ball. I don't even play baseball. But we can't disobey school rules, right? The body was probably moved in the morning. 
Calm down, everyone. Go to sure if we discuss disagreement. I see through your arguments. Disagreement? All right, we will do this disagreement next time. See you then.